Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am psychic medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card from a deck to let you know what's coming up for the week and the signs and the symbols to watch for. This week we're actually using a deck we've never used before. It's kind of cool. It's called Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. So it has Christmas in it. The Seasons of a Witch have three. I have three of their decks. One is a Halloween deck. I think we've used that before. One is a regular deck that's just Seasons of the Witch and this is the Christmas edition. So as you can see, if you are listening to this on the podcast and not watching it, you can go to my Instagram and see at Carrie Muggs. But each card on the back has a world, like an earthly world with hands reaching into the world and it's red and green. It's very seasonal. And each card is something to do with Christmas. Very well illustrated. All of their decks are illustrated this way. Very beautiful. So this week we're going to use this deck to see what's coming up and we might use it next week too we'll see so ooh, father christmas sorry i have to use my little glasses how did how did thy get here lost perhaps no worries at all gather yourself and clear the frost for the good still lives in in you dear so this one is i feel like the spirit of christmas the connection to um, the divine or to 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 source. I feel like this is the spirit of Christmas, and and the spirit of Christmas during this time of year can be hard because some of us have lost loved ones, and this year, this time of the year is really really hard. In fact, I'm going to do a podcast this week on how to connect to your loved ones during the Christmas season. So there can be a lot of grief. So this is to let you know that even if you haven't lost a loved one, now I think Christmas is super magical. And I feel like too that a lot of people say that the veil is thinner during Halloween, but I feel like the veil or our connection to our loved ones is thinner or better during Christmas time. I feel like Christmas is just a magical time of year, but a lot of people don't feel, some people don't feel that because a lot of times they lost their loved ones during this time of year or they're going through this magical time of year without their loved ones. So this week is about connection. It's about connecting to source. It's about connecting to spirit and it's about connecting to your loved ones. So Christmas is coming and we do feel sometimes alone without our loved ones, without people who have passed over and we feel lost without them. And I feel like this is what he's saying that you can feel lost and you can feel alone and you're not. This week is gonna be a big connection. You will feel some sort of connection to your past loved one or to spirit or to somebody on the other side or to yourself even. You can feel very connected to who you are and you can very feel very connected to Christmas spirit. I know most of my sacred connections to my dad have happened during the Christmas season. So be really aware of what's going on and be really ask for the signs of your loved ones to come through and be specific on what you want them to bring through because because if you just say show me a sign it's so hard for them it's so general so be specific say show me a penny today or in two days give them a little time but i know that this this they want you to know that they're around so they're with you and they're trying but sometimes we're so so much in our grief that it's hard to feel them or it's hard to know that they're around so watch for other signs and when you ask for signs be specific of which signs you want them to show and if you don't have a loved one on the other side and you're feeling through Christmas spirit this is a connection to the divine this is a connection to source and when you dev when you do have a connection to source or feel close to source or feel close to the universe you're feeling close to you that's what you're doing this is you being you are authentic your authentic self so you can feel close to the divine so this week you are going to have a Father Christmas is going to visit you, the, the spirit of Christmas, and, and you're going to feel it within your heart. And miracles happen. Miracles happen all the time, especially this time of year. And you're going to feel it within you, and maybe you'll do something, something sacred for somebody else, or maybe you'll be giving to somebody else. And if you can't because you barely have enough to give yourself, then some, maybe you'll receive that. So this is very, very much a time of connection, a time of the collective connection that we are not all one. We are, we are all one. We're not just singly divided. We're all part of the big, we're all lights on the Christmas tree and, and the star at the top is, is source and we're all connected. 
and I feel like you're going to feel that connection this week, um, even with the depression, even if you are sad, or even if you have some sorrow. I feel like deep down you'll somehow feel this connection this week. If you have that intention, so set that intention to feel that this week. Also, the numbers are 111 and 333. So 111 means that you're raising your frequency, which is very, very great timing for this because you're going to look, you higher your frequency to feel the connection, to feel the oneness and feel the divine. And then 333 is that your ancestors are with you. Your guides and your ancestors are with you and you are not alone and you are not doing this alone and you are very much loved. And this week, try and tap into that. Try and tap, if, if the commercialism is overwhelming and buying the gifts is overwhelming, tap back into the spirit of Christmas. Tap, at, tap back into what, what it means to you and what, what Christmas really means or the spirit, of, the spirit of Christmas. And I do know a long time ago I did a podcast, maybe you can find it, I think it was either a couple years ago, about what the spirit of Christmas and if it really exists. And I told about different stories that I had gone through during Christmas time and it was a very touching episode. So maybe I'll post that, I'll post that in the show notes this is not my podcast. This is Carrie Connects. So, but me, I'm going to talk about grief and my podcast this week. So, so I'll put that other podcast episode in the show notes too. So signs and symbols to watch for, obviously Father Christmas. So this would count as Santa Claus, which he's going to be everywhere, which is perfect because, because if Santa Claus is everywhere or Father Christmas is everywhere, then you're going to see it everywhere. And it's going to remind you, Spirit's going to remind you that Tap, try and tap into the good. Try and tap into the miracle. Try and tap into the spirit of Christmas. And know that those loved ones that you do miss, they are with you. And I, I don't know how to help. There's no way to take away that pain, right? But I promise you, and everything that I have, I promise you on my father that has passed, they are with you this season. So try and tap into that. So any kind of, and then there's like a holly, the, the wreath kind of on top. So on top of his head, there's like a, it's not like a normal Santa Claus hat. It's like an ivy kind of wreath. So any type of like holly and berries or ivy, Santa Claus, any type of father figure, Father Christmas, and 111 and 333. Those are going to be the signs this week. It's going to be easy peasy. This Feeling the spirit of Christmas and the miracle is not going to be easy peasy itself, but there's going to be signs everywhere. And um, so watch for Father Christmas. I would kind of go as far as like regular Santa counts, but if you see one of those like divine Father Christmas pictures or, or statues or anything, that is really spirit telling you to check in, check in and try and feel the spirit of Christmas. Um, like the song by Faith, Faith Hill, sometimes you feel like, where are you Christmas? And it's just, it's all around you. It's just here. It's just if you can feel it or you can find it in yourself. So set that intention this week. Know that you are so loved and I will talk to you guys next week.